Hey what's up guys my name is Wasi and welcome to my brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create trendy logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects so let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition and let's call it logo animation and as well as I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds then hit ok. Ok let's uh, import our logo. You can use text as well. Now select this logo and place it on this timeline. Now make it smaller like this. Now pre compose it. So right click, pre compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo. Then click on OK. OK, now add fill on it. Change the color to white. Then again pre compose it and this time uh, rename it to white logo. Then hit OK. Ok now again add fill on it and change the color to something like that. Ok now add CC light sweep. Shape set it smooth and then width set it 100 and sweep intensity set it uh, around 70 and edge intensity set it 0 and edge thickness set it 0. Okay, now select this point and move it on to the center of this logo. Now go to the beginning of this animation and then set a keyframe on direction, then go to around uh, 2 second 20 frames then increase the direction something like this now press U on your keyboard now select these two keyframes then press F9 perfect ok let's add Vegas Ok now segment set it 2 and click on random face ok and then uh, blend mode set it transparent width set it 1.30 and start opacity set it 0 and uh, mid opacity set it 1 and color set it white ok now add simple choker choke mat set it minus 2.70 that looks good to me ok now go to the beginning of this animation and then set a keyframe on length and value set to 0 now go to around 1 second uh, 1 second 7 frame then uh, length set it 0.400 ok now go to around 3 second 14 frames then length value set it 0 press U on your keyboard and select this keyframe then press F9 to make them easy ease Ok now again go to the beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on rotation then go to around um, press U on your keyboard and go to end of this keyframe and then uh, rotation value set it around uh, 270 degree 
and select this keyframe then press F9 and then simply change the curve curve to something like that okay uh, looks good to me okay now simply duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl plus D now select this bottom layer then add uh, CC radial first color then amount set it 95 and zoom set it brightest then select this layer then press T on your keyboard then opacity value set it 40 now go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on center then change the uh, position something around here and then go to around um, 3 second 14 frames then change the position something around here Okay, looks good to me let's add uh, particles you can download this footage from the link in the description place it into this timeline uh, make it smaller and then change the layer blend mode to color dodge and create a black background as well so right click new then click on solid rename it to bg and make sure it uh, background is black color is black then click on ok and put it uh, below all the layers ok now create a adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer and then add VC color vibrance you can download this plugin uh, from uh, link in the description box below and it's 100% free let's change the color uh, you can choose any color you want Uh, let's increase the uh, amount to maybe 97 that looks nice to me okay now go to project window and create a new composition let's call it logo reveal then click on ok then simply select our logo and white logo comp then place it into this timeline now select this logo and put it below this white logo layer now go to around 3 seconds then add a linear whip and then select this uh, effect and apply onto this white logo layer then uh, wipe angle change the wipe angle to around 155 degree okay now uh, set a keyframe on transition completion and increase the value a little bit then go forward few uh, seconds then increase the transition completion value to around 65 or 66 looks good and uh, further amount set it 100 now go to logo animation comp then go to project window and select our logo reveal comp and then place it into this timeline and then uh, select this logo reveal comp and simply add a linear wipe on it 
then change the angle to around minus 45 degree then increase the transition completion value until your logo is disappeared then set a keyframe then go for a few seconds and then decrease the value and feather value set it 100 okay now press u on your keyboard and select this keyframe then press f9 let's run and preview this looks good to me okay now select this particle layer then press T set a keyframe on opacity go for a few frames and value set it 0 okay now select our adjustment layer then set a keyframe on privates then go to around uh, 5 seconds and then violence amount set it 0 now simply select this uh, logo reveal layer then press S on your keyboard then set a keyframe on scale and go for a few seconds then scale value set it 80 now select these two keyframe then press f9 open graph editor and then simply change the curve curve to something like this okay looks good to me now let's add text so right click new then click on text Now select this text then press P and hold down shift then press T. Set a keyframe on position and opacity then go backward few frames and then simply change the position something like this and opacity value set it 0 then select all keyframes then press F9 open graph editor and simply Uh, change the graph curve to something like this Our logo animation is complete so ramp preview this Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, have a great day and I will see you in the next video, till then peace out.